The Grand Story. So Isaac grew and Sarah died, then Abraham had another bride. God's promises of land and seed came true for him who had believed. A plot of land the Hittites gave to Abraham for Sarah's grave, and Eliezer east was sent to find a bride was his intent. Rebecca was the one he found for Isaac, brought her homeward bound to Isaac's laughter, came again. He loved Rebecca through his pain. Abraham then breathed his last, his wealth had grown, his treasure vast. To every son he gave a gift, but Isaac's portion caused a rift with Ishmael, who nursed his grudge, his hatred, festered, would not budge. His many wives had many sons, but Isaac's bride had none, not one. Then Isaac prayed, Rebecca's joy would be complete with baby boy, but she conceived not one but two. Rebecca's heart was black and blue. From womb to tomb, by day, by night, they fought and battled for the right to be the one who called the shots to be the boss and get the lot. Now Esau was the number one out in the field. He'd hunt and run, but Jacob was a crafty child, outwitting Esau, who was wild. But Isaac's eyes were on the sky, no rain his flocks to satisfy. So Isaac dug down deep and found the living water underground. The Philistines saw Isaac's wealth had grown by cleverness and stealth, and Isaac played a risky game with Becca's honour to his shame. But God appeared in Isaac's rest, and peace broke out, and Isaac blessed the Philistines who made a pact to live in peace and not attack. Peace abroad, but war at home, like dogs who scrapped for every bone. Rebecca's boys fought tooth and nail, the stakes were high, who would prevail? Rebecca took up Jacob's side, but Esau was his father's pride. Now Isaac's eyes were growing dim. He knew the time had come for him, his heir with all his wealth to bless. Rebecca hatched a plan to dress her second son in Esau's coat and bring his father roasted goat. The old man almost sniffed a rat, but Jacob got away with that and stole his brother's heritage while Esau sank into a rage. As Esau waited for his chance, he led his mum a merry dance. His Hittite wives were such a grief, Rebecca pleaded for relief. She came to Isaac's blinded side, send Jacob back to find a bride. So Isaac blessed and sent his son back east towards the rising sun. Now on the way he dreamed and saw a ladder rose to heaven's door, the covenant the Lord renewed. This refugee, with attitude, come again into his land, with children like the grains of sand, and they would every nation bless, and God would rescue from distress. So Jacob called that place Bethel, and promised God one-tenth as well, and then he travelled all the way to Uncle Laban's place to stay. Now, cousin Rachel caught his eye, but Laban was a crafty guy, and when the wedding was arranged, behind the veil, the bride was changed, and as the rays of dawn made clear, his bride was Rachel's sister, Leah, and Jacob didn't like this joke, but Laban said, among his folk, the older daughter marries first, and Jacob thought his heart would burst, but Laban put his mind at rest. Another seven years invest, and Rachel shall be yours to wed, the trickster to the trickster said. Now, unloved Leah proved to be most fertile. On the contrary, beloved Rachel had no child, and nagged poor Jacob, drove him wild. Both sisters gave their maids to add... Yet further sons made Jacob glad. The Lord remembered Rachel's pain and answered to remove her shame, and Joseph joined this clan of strife, the favourite son of favourite wife. Eleven sons and Dinah too, unruly mob of tricksters who would trade their father, wretched brutes, for half a pound of magic roots. Now Jacob cared for Laban's sheep and kept the lame, the blind, the weak. But Joseph's flocks and herds grew strong, while Laban's dwindled. And ere long, 
The sons of Laban filed a suit. Their jealousy was at the root. Time to go, the Lord God said. So Jacob took his wives and fled. But Laban chased him all the way, and Jacob argued for his pay. The Lord, an angel, or a man, then interrupted Jacob's plan. And in midstream he picked a fight with Jacob wrestling all that night. With dislocated hip he fell into the dawn, limped Israel. Four hundred men at Esau's rear came riding up to Jacob's fear, but Esau's kisses and embrace to Jacob were amazing grace. At Shechem, Dinah was disgraced. In rage, her brothers trashed the place. Then Jacob came to Bethel's stone, his dream spot when he fled from home. There Jacob called upon the Lord. God promised him a rich reward of land and children and a name, and one last son to Israel came. There Benjamin at such a cost was born, but Rachel's life was lost. But for his sorrow, no relief, for Isaac died. Such grief on grief.